Hello, 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 and welcome back to my channel. And today I want to talk to you about the Canon EOS 5. Yes, hello and welcome back. So yes, the Canon EOS 5, uh, a fantastic, well-balanced, awesome camera. Yes, it's old. <laughs> it's 1992 to 1998 um, and was targeted as a prosumer camera. Not quite sure what that means because it's got quite a few professional specs on it, I would say. And it's very similar to me, for what I feel, is the first Canon 5D. Very similar and in terms of how it feels as well. So if you're already a Canon shooter, this is the Canon 5D Mark III, this one. <laughs> um, you can see they're a similar size, similar weight-ish, obviously depending on what glass you put on. This is by far sturdier than this one. This is still got a lot of plastic on it, as you can hear. Um, but you, there's a lot of similarities in terms of how it feels and, and how it operates. So, if you, as I say, if you're already a Canon shooter, you have a great way in to starting film photography. So, if for example, you wanted to start doing it now, you'd go out, you'd buy, for example, the Canon AE-1 program. Then you need some glass, so you'd want to go and buy some FD lenses, so you'd want something like the 50mm f1.8 if you can push it to the 1.4. If you've got too much money, you can buy the 1.2. Uh, then you want something like an 85 for a nice portrait lens. So immediately you've spent three, four hundred pounds on some good condition equipment. There are cheaper ways of doing it, but that's averaging. This, however, if you're already a Canon shooter, as I say, a Canon digital shooter, is just an EF mount. So your EF glass will fit quite easily onto there. So that means you've already got lenses, so you only need to buy this a body. Now this body, just this body, four pounds. Four pounds. Why was it so cheap? Because these have a common fault. And I have two of these cameras and they both had the same fault. And that fault is the outer dial of the control wheel becomes disconnected from the inner spindle. And how do you fix this without having to take it apart? Sellotape. A piece of sellotape. Get the spindle in the middle in the right position, match the outer wheel, place your tape on, and suddenly you've got a camera which works in every mode again. Brilliant. So what are the features of this camera? Well, for one, which is pretty epic, it has eye tracking focus. So it tracks the photographer's eye. So if I put that to my eye and I would look to the left dot, there's five horizontal marks in there for your focus. Look to the left one, it will focus on the left. Look to the right, it will focus there and so on. So it's tracking my eye and I get to decide where I want the focus based on where I look. I don't, I'm not aware of any cameras that do that now. Maybe the Sonys do. I know the Sonys have eye tracking focus as in your subject's eye or your pet's eye or whatever, but not your eye. That's pretty, pretty revolutionary. It has all the same features as modern cameras. It has your three step evaluating, but weighted, center weighted, rubbish, whatever you want to call it. They're all icons. It also has an incredibly fast shutter. That's pretty good. That's like a roll of film gone in a second. Obviously that's an expensive way of shooting, but if you had to, you can. It also has a built-in flash. How cool is that? I would assume that's the prosumer bit. <laughs> but if you ever need a flash in emergency situation, rather than bolting one on top onto the hot shoe, you've got one built in. That's pretty cool. It's got the big wheel like a 5D, so everything is, is as intuitive if you've come from the digital black to film. Lots of other controls, which again are all very, very familiar. But the eye tracking one is a pretty unique 
and possibly one I think they should bring it back. So like I said, that one, four pounds. This one, I think I paid 15 pounds for, but this one came with a couple of batteries um, and a case as well, I think. Don't use the case. But again, sellotape was the, was the savior. So you can have a really cheap way potentially cheap you've still bought your glass etc but you've got a more affordable way of getting into film photography worth a shot uh so that'll do just a really really quick and short sweet video for you there if this is your first time here please do click that subscribe button and the little bell icon next to it to be notified as to when i upload a video occasionally sometimes why not give it a thumbs up? Let YouTube know that you've watched my video and the algorithm will thank me and you. And I will see you soon, I guess. Take care.